Hi guys, it's another week and we are coming your way with a fun episode of Trending GH. As always, we are going to be talking about all the big trends this week. Who got paid 20 Ghana City for a feature? And are we going back to the doomsaw days with the cancellation of the PDS contract? There is so much to talk about. You don't want to miss. Stick and stay. We'll be right back. Hi guys! Hey, another hey, week. Guys. Happy new month! There's a fresh new month. Mm -hmm. We wish you guys all the best. Like, get dash money! Yes, as we bring you the. It's a fresh new month and already Monday is a holiday. Mm hmm. Yeah. A lot of relaxation this month. Yeah, and weekend. So, yeah, basically. But there's a lot to talk about. So, let's get right into it. Who got paid 20 Ghana for a feature? I mean, is it even reasonable? <laughs> So, Kese says the hit song, Azonto Fiesta, you know. Eh? She go want more, Charlie. That one. Which had his voice, you know, singing the chorus. Um, he didn't get anything from it. Nothing whatsoever. Except 20 CDs, which he got from a PA2 to buy fuel on the day of the music video shoot. Which is quite strange. It is? Mm-hmm. Well, I think as people have said that it, it, it represents the sad state of uh, the um, music industry. industry. Mm -hmm. And I think now things are a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's better for those who are in front and not so much for those who are upcoming, upcoming and in the back. And because still. even considering Sack back then was also Sack claims on us, so he didn't get anything from the song. Yeah, but maybe it's not one that mm -hmm. uh, they were going out there then looking for. Money, royalties, or money. Or yeah, stuff. Uh, I think it was a collaboration by uh, Apiotis was doing a compilation album and mm -hmm. had different people on okay. it. So I think it was in uh, people have done things in good faith, you know. Uh, this Apiotis, our bigger brother, he's doing an album, let's just do so it. So it they were not thinking of moment. it as a, a project, project where yeah, everybody to wanted money to money get something yeah. out of it. Yeah, so. Yes, and I mean, I uh, may have forgotten about that. My highlight yeah. of that. You know something? A mo, a mo mo feel, you know. Somebody was bleeding. <laughs> they made the hit, and somebody was yes. bleeding. And our very own lady in red has been bleeding since, you know. Please, if you see her lips, don't look at her. That's so the blood. If you guys don't Please, know. Don't, don't explain. Hey, <laughs> those who don't know. So, what happened was. Uh, Madame here mm. uh, got carried saw away, story, saw the story yeah. on another <laughs> website and uh, went ahead to do it. Right. And uh, it was in the tone of saying that uh, Sarkozy was Rather the one... Rather didn't give Yeah, Kessie so it was like Sarkozy paid, uh, gave uh, 20 Ghana CDs. And so Sarkozy sent me a shout out, a on very Twitter? trending one <laughs> as such, on Twitter to say that, Oh, you a bro? How you gonna do that? <laughs> <laughs> He's the uh, West. <laughs> so he oh sends me, sends me a tweet to say that oh he doesn't think that that's what Sarko, uh, uh, Kessie said. said because uh, he the song is not his and mm. all of that which is legit. Uh, right. But what I didn't like was the fact that uh, he went ahead to say in a different tweet to say that um, maybe Yo. I was doing it for clout. Yeah. I think he should he should have just left his comments his sincere Where comments corrected uh, and the corrections at that and not even which which under which it. under the first tweet you know i came to say that when i didn't read the story my boss was not like there when i read the story mm -hmm. and people are coming in to say oh even if your boss was not there there's a system he has to proofread yeah, yeah. every every organization has a system and yeah. i clearly took you know so, charge yes. and i i wrote the story i i goofed big time you know everybody would say it in the office i i was down the whole week i felt very mm -hmm. apologetic and then it made me extra cautious of you know whatever I put out now. I read, I, I listen to audios three to four times. I watch videos and five times. To be honest, just it to make the sure. best of journalists. Yeah, I mean, so everyone. It wasn't intentional so for clout. I, I, I intentionally didn't, didn't reply. I just right. after she apologized, I retweeted right. that, and I saw the Twitter. Oh man, did Twitter they come for me? Just tweeting away like they were crazy. Yeah. And uh, I mean, what I did was I, I muted those conversations. So all the nonsense that were said, I didn't really get and to And they see came it. to me, but I also uh, muted but, it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> social media is such a way that uh, everybody is looking an for opinion and an opinion to come and attack people. And so mm -hmm. I thought it, 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 it gave people that chance to try and get, take shots at me. And I didn't see the shots. So you threw blows and punches. 
away. Please don't mind it. All we are saying <laughs> is um, for for our upcoming artists, I mean, this case, you know, revelation should be, you know, a wake up call. Even if you are doing it just for doing sake, think about the future whereby yeah. you, you you get some credit to it so that if there are royalties someday somehow get paid. you get paid out of that. You know? If yeah. you don't know, go and ask Shatawale how much Beyonce gave him. <laughs> Hey, ah, the best friend of Satawale is giving us the scoop. Right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's move into our first segment for this week, which is what were they thinking? Guys, let us go to Kenya real quick. Like, okay, fly f- fly past Nigeria all over. We're moving straight to Kenya because this one is over me. Because I, I thought this usually happens in South Africa. You know, when I first saw the video, I was like, oh, yes. oh only South Africa for that. Do this. Um, resurrected this people media. and media. stuff. But... Pastor no saw Jesus and brought him down. Yes, which actually <laughs> turns out not to be the case. So apparently, um, the man who you know was portraying Jesus is just an evangelist who came down um Kenya to preach at the mm-hmm. pastor's church. So in an example to show them how you know Jesus worked and walked on the earth, you know they did that portrayal. So it's just like what we do when it's um. Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday, Palm Sunday, where we do the portrait. So he not like Jesus got invited, but it was still funny, you know. So yeah. yeah. Hey guys, you're welcome back. It's still trending GH, and we hope you're having a conversation with us down there in the comment section. And we're moving on to our next. Uh, conversation and it's about brother Sami who is now apologizing after mm-hmm. landing himself in hot waters for creating and advertising fake medicine which he claimed Jesus had opened his eyes for him to see and now give to the people. I mean if you hear that you might end up spending 20 years in jail by the FDA. You, you, you come apologize. out and say <laughs> the truth. You say the truth. <laughs> I mean, it shows to the extent <laughs> where people would, uh, what, what was the word for it? Take advantage of people, you know, right. especially uh, using Christ yeah, or yeah. Christianity so, to sell. I mean, it's a good wake up call to all of you who have different faith. Actually, the dangerous thing is one of the videos uh, claim uh, that there's uh, him missing DDT with mm-hmm. water mm-hmm. to make the whole medicine, which is mm-hmm. super dangerous. Yeah. For me, a lot of things are being done. Yeah. It was soon. Yeah, in the dark, you, you know, a lot of yeah. And apparently, it's actually uh, the grandparents' business who he's now trying to protect. <laughs> the, the legacy. Ah, uh, well. Anyway, if it's a legacy and you're trying to protect and you genuinely believe in it, why don't you sell go it through, as such? No, even go through the Look, legal rights channels. if you the channels. grandparents, if they are still alive. They're dead. <laughs> they are dead now. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are dead or they are sick. Can you summon their ghost? <laughs> well, but that's is here to take all the blame, so maybe yeah. they should arrest yeah. him. And yeah, they should arrest him. I mean, it's even the attempt that he's, he, he tried to deceive the public, is, I think, isn't that a crime in the law somewhere? Mm-hmm. You clearly just want him to be in jail. I, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm I, getting fed up. I want, yeah. the, I want less. Miss you know? G. Yeah, because and it's now, all back and, and forth. And the funny now he's apologizing to the FDA, Mepamacho, mm-hmm. Mofanche, me hoping to be let off the hook, which I think that's what you're saying. Yeah. He yeah. needs to be accountable Apologies and to pay not, for the crimes. Yeah. Are not enough. Or well, well, you know, somebody has consumed it. it and it's Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah we don't know. Criminal, so. Unless, of course, it's not harmful. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, it is. Guys, please make it stop the concoction. Unapproved drugs, please make it stop. Um, let's Jesus move on. Is tired, please. Yeah. <laughs> Else is going to come down soon. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're moving into our next segment, which is our moment, which happens to be Amel our depressed favorite. And he... GQ's, I mean, it's been a while since we did our oh, moment on trending. And Jewish. this week is really oh, yeah, It's not so. like hey, oh, it's our. <laughs> don't mind your cue. It's a quad, but I didn't know a quad had a child. I also didn't know she Amaya, had, did you know? had a daughter. I did, yeah. Oh. She's very pretty, by the way. Very, very, very pretty. Yes. Very pretty. So the cutie is one year old. And I yeah. uh, yeah. think uh, the father shared a picture of himself. The, the video, video, actually. The video, video. And they were on uh, on the bed. No, be no sweet. Oh, sweet oh, so. oh, oh. 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 Yeah. So <laughs> our moment for this week, guys. All right, so welcome back. Uh, I think there's one video that has been trending a lot. Uh, one pastor or doctor, Kobe. Uh, a lot of his videos have been online uh, mm-hmm. in the past. Uh, so there's this segment of the video, a sermon when he was given in church, uh, which portrayed him saying that uh, uh, Asante women were a certain way. 
Mm -hmm. uh, they like to chop money. Mm -hmm. uh, Fancy women do are do. stupid yeah. or foolish or something like yeah. that. And uh, if you watch that video, it was quite in bad taste. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people condemned it uh, mm -hmm. from public people to the point where it even went to... Some people were calling in... Uh, calling Asante, Asante Hene. Asante Hene as the Queen Mother was being disrespected, all of that. And eventually the man came out to to apologize uh for me but uh, it was it was a shady apology it was like it was, it was like, like i'm because, because it's caught fire and then and then i have trending and then even in church he did a, a second sermon in church and was like hey gonna have a trendy and then he started singing the shatawale song oh okay wow. yeah, yeah. I, I don't know that's a different the apology video. i saw was the one i think it was like a statement when he was saying that uh, people, it's just a segment of what she, he was Easy. saying, and if you had watched the full video, you realized that he was rather talking against uh, tribalism. Uh, so that's the one that didn't seem that way at all. At all. Way. At all. And uh, we all haven't had a chance to not wanted to watch the whole video. And even more detestful, distasteful was another one. Uh, I don't know this pastor's name, but I think uh, he also has a lot of videos. He also went ahead, he was more political, saying that the MPP, uh, people in the MPP want the Ashanti government. Uh, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I mean, can these pastors just stick to preaching the word of God? And speaking about salvation, not about budget solution, ah. solution, solution, yeah. salvation, like... Uh, I mean, I mean... Uh, they I, can do better with their plans. We did, I mean, we did an yeah, interview exactly. with uh, this one, and he, even from that Christian uh, food, is saying that uh, it's an issue for most of them because... Uh, uh, some people make it difficult to now take the word of God serious and uh, yeah. So I mean, let you make it stick stop. to the matters of spirituality. Leave mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. other things to be. And for a pastor who has a congregation of diverse people and, and such reputation, followers, I know him on all yeah, he comes on TV. Yes. Mm -hmm. He gives marital mm -hmm. advice. So please, this let's is make it stop. Way below the belt. Way below. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we are moving into our next segment, which is hot picks for this week and, and mm. it's 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 yeah hot pick this week is my 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 kin kin sack <laughs> sack nation i intentionally brought sarkadia here because he was flaming hot and you guys were flaming hot on me this week so uh we're using sarkadia for hot picks this weekend he did look nice though really Swipe nice out. and i went for tidal rave guys if you missed tidal rave you I'm missed sorry. a lot but we have highlights of tidal rave you know 2019 all the Fan you missed it's on our YouTube page, so do oh, check it out. Moment. I'm our TV official, but then Kensa look absolutely dapper. dapper. Oh, dapper! I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so dapper for Tidal Rave 2019. He hosted Sunday. His performance was <laughs> hot, and he definitely came looking the you know part. So check out Kensa yes, being white, people. being hot like he is, flaming hot fire, highest. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Trending GH, telling us your favorite segment and story so far. Let us know your opinion. Comment section below. But this really warmed my heart. You know, if you if you follow social media and the really cool guys on social media, you would know that Yuji Official and his brothers Heba. You know, those fine Ghanaian men with the beard and lips. I'm not sexualizing them, but they're fine. Fine men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are speaking, I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, we are just, we are just listening. Anyways, you just official, you know. Even though Father's Day was over, I think he was still saving the money. And now the money has so reached. <laughs> bad, no? And not fast, cannot cut all a whole Mercedes Benz. For the dad. Whip, whip for daddy. The man is so Ghanaian with his right. response. I was like, oh, I'm surprised. Oh, man. <laughs> Galen, how Galen. American father would have cried it all. The second video. Okay. When he was coming out, we were thanking all the, the children, and they were like, oh, it's not us, it's just, it's, it, it's UJ. It was like, but you guys all kept it quiet, and so uh, uh, the surprise, it was well, fun. Yeah, because when he was very very Ghanian, Ghanian, was just, he was like, oh, wow. Ghanian. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, American father, I'm like, oh my God. They'll probably God. throw 
wearing a hat oh or something. God, yeah. Why you, you can't be cool like that? You know, Daniel, 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 they always suppress the laugh, mm-hmm. but they still love you anyway. It's some tough laugh right there, I mean, man. And, and from that second video, it seemed that uh, it came at the right time because I think his main car developed a fault or something. Oh, okay. And, uh, yeah, so, so it, it came at the yeah, right what, time. What, what, what Congratulations. Was Good job, uh, Eugene. Eugene. Yeah, uh, we can all take a cue from that. Yeah. I mean, the fathers don't receive enough love like the mothers. Yeah. yeah. But Jackie so told me uh, what she's given her mom this Christmas. Should I spill it? No. Alright, so I won't. Anyway. DM me, I'll spill it. <laughs> Anyways, congratulations to, you know, Yuji and his dad, you know, keep being a good son and all the other artists. Take cue and let's move. Everybody, even from artists, we are normal people, let us do that. Yeah, let's move into our serious story for this week. Hmm. Are we going back to Doomso? I mean, I hope not. I think I really hope not. Putting PDS and ECG head to head, we think we all like. You know, anytime I try to write this PDS, I either write PBS or, or PSD. Because PDS by idea, let do some radio. Mm, really? Was, uh, yeah. Oh, it, it was, was just for a few weeks, like when they took over, and then they said they had to do some. No, it was whenever it was raining. It was Actually, I was the out of the country, went, oh. you know. So oh yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I'm not coming too late. <laughs> yeah, so not the average guy. We that we live in the heat. <laughs> Let's relate. Let us relate and talk about it. But honestly, why do you think this is? I mean, the f- let's talk about the fraud aspect of it. The fact that, you know, there were, you know, documents that were infactual, you know, unfactual, sorry, mm-hmm. that didn't tally with the information that they were given. That is a big issue. Mm-hmm. They were you- given the government. Yeah, yeah, like the PDS people um, gave um, documents to government which were not factual. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like there's fraud going on. So you are yeah. not honest. So okay. we are taking the, you know, contract from you and then okay. we are using, we are going back but to But how did they now find this infactuality? Exactly. Whatever. That is the issue. Huh? Nobody knows. I mean, okay. capitalism for you, baby. <laughs> I mean, and ECG, um, PDS is made up of three people, mm-hmm. two Ghanaians and one national, one international mm-hmm. investor. So you would expect that coming from, you know, people in the country, mm-hmm. they will try to do as good as good exactly. just so that people would have more faith in you know investing yeah. in Ghanaian especially entities. the energy sector exactly so it really comes as a huge blow and then there's a whole lot of back and forth but i think the cue we are taking from this is that government needs to up their game when it comes to procurement uh, mm-hmm. and well, you awarding know contracts. other things uh, awarding contracts and other important. things because mm-hmm. We can't just be giving the contract to somebody that you know. The Especially other. the energy sector is also very important. Mm-hmm. I mean, our light is very important for you to be playing dice with it. Any, mm-hmm. Anyhow, anyway. So, we don't know what they are going to do next, but we just hope that we don't go back to doom so, so it's era. ECG back now. now? Yeah, interim. ECG yeah, interim is ECG is back. Interim, you know, oh, okay. manager of... Uh, electricity. So now I, I mean I won't have to struggle with saying PBS or PBS yeah, or back PVS. Yeah. Back when your friend back. is Sankofa, Sankofa <laughs> Yenchi, we've gone back to take our turn. So let's go back to the old days. Let's take it back to yesterday. That means you are taking it back to what? A throw back for the week mm-hmm. where they were I, on I, the I, moon. Oh God! I let you have the father that came and probably you are switched it out. Please don't do the moon thing. No, we are still <laughs> on the moon. We are taking it to when they were on the moon to be, they became the stars. You know, so throwback of um, for the week is. And this time is one love the Kobola when he was wearing trousers or shorts and some, probably sandals and shoes. Wait, wait, that, that he, means, he does look the same though. At all, like a whole lot, but I'm surprised he was in. Sandals. Yeah, he does. He does. He's always been this pain. He went boy. to your school. Yes. Was he your mate? No, no. I think he was one year ahead of me. Oh, really? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. oh that's strange. Wow, that's that's. Strange. Yeah, I think he was. And then Kubala is really fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one thing, wow. is really but fine. Really no no shade to you, boss. But AD, AD has black don't crack. Look at him. Please, crack it. <laughs> <laughs> She's jealous because I couldn't give her pressure to this week. It's <laughs> anyway, cracking. Yes, I think oh, he was yeah. mates with uh, Mensa. And Mensa was a year ahead of me. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, because he does. He, he's always been peng. Some little peng boy. He has the sister Debbie. Look now, he yeah, looks more like he... Debbie now. Yeah, he looked more to be here. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, yeah, that's that's our throwback for this week. All too soon, guys. We are over and out. Hopefully next week there will be 
more 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 and then we can give you more 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 and it'll be more fun but sadly we've come to the end of this week's trending gh please do not forget to check out all our content we have um an interview with the miss Bell that is trending mm -hmm. we have all our content from tidal wave we have um joshua notary yeah our mm -hmm. interview yeah. with joshua we have a couple of interviews lined up this coming week as well so please follow us turn Stay your notifications tuned, on i mean our tv facebook instagram twitter yeah man we out <laughs> We, we out. out. I'm at Debra.com for news. We out. We out. We out, out baby. Bye. <laughs>